Doctor number one. Seriously, he says that diseases are not punishment by gods for naughtiness. Calmly, he explains that they are enemies to be fought by taking care of the earth and ourselves as we ought. Understandably, he observes that diseases appear when the earth is polluted and dirty. Cleanly, they disappear when we eat healthily and kick bad habits away. Honestly, he promises that every sick person be given treatment, even a hippo who cracked trees one fine day. For saving lives, all doctors are the best, but he stands out from the rest. Can you guess who he is? Introducing Hippocrates. Known as the father of medicine, he's one of the most outstanding figures in medical history. Doctor number two. What is in the body's anatomy? He is curious. To know each and every part of the body is to him excitingly glorious. In the brain, you find the intellect and not the heart. He can measure your pulse using a water clock so smart. He points out that good health is the most important pick, for even a superhero will lose a fight if sick. For saving lives, all doctors are the best, but he stands out from the rest. Can you guess who he is? Introducing Herophilus. Known as the father of anatomy, he was a famous medical teacher in Alexandria, Egypt. Doctor number three. No girl doctor rule in Athens. She considers nonsense, so she goes to study medicine in Alexandria just to cause defense. Herophilus, her teacher, finds her brilliant and suggests that she goes back to Athens. The boy doctors argue this. She is a girl and could not be a doctor even with patients in thousands and tens. So her patients come to her rescue, demanding that she be allowed to continue. She wins and because of her, the no girl doctor rule is definitely overruled. For saving lives, all doctors are the best, but she stands out from the rest. Can you guess who she is? Introducing Agnes, the first woman doctor in Athens of ancient Greece.